Hello and welcome. Q Sports International and Predator present the 2023 Predator WPA World Temp Ball Championships. 128 players started. This is the third day of the event. They're playing for $250,000 with the prize fund with $60,000 going to the first prize. This is still stage one, but this is a loser qualification. The winner here moves on to the final 32. The loser here packs up. It's a race to eight, double winner break. And in, this is George Teche in the booth with me. We have quite the treat for you. We have a young lady from Tampa, Florida by the name of Sophia Mast, who is a up and coming junior player. Hello. I'm excited to commentate this match. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a really good one. Uh, any of these two, one of your favorite players by chance? Or are you well, from, which one are you familiar with the most? Um, definitely Tyler Steyer. Uh -huh. We always joke around and have fun with each other. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a, he can be a hoot. He can be fun. Yeah. Well, he's started off breaking and um, he's pocketed a ball. His break is the biggest thing about his game. One of the biggest things about his game. He's uh, one of the strongest breaker in 10 ball. It's a harder shot on this two ball. I think you'll go after the nine. It's definitely a possibility. I I think you would. He decided to play the safe. A safe with distance. If this lines up, he could pocket the ten. But keep in Doesn't mind, folks, count. it's WPA rules. No early tens, no tens on the break. There is a three foul rule. The players are on the 30 second shot clock. With the exception after the break, they have 60 seconds to uh, plan their attack of the rack or strategy for the rack. It's refereed rack, so the players aren't touching the rack and they're not checking the rack. And, and it looks like he called the 10 ball, the 210. Yeah. Just got to be careful with the position if you do pocket this 10. Well, more than likely he'll come into the four ball or maybe even go right around it and uh, end up with a shot. Will the four ball block him back? The 10 ball too. Oh. Yeah, the 10 ball you could see is just a little off to the side. He'd have an open shot on the deuce, but the four ball came in and just ruined his dream. We are at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino. And this is part of the CSI Expo, as you see on the arena wall there, where the BCA and the USA Pool Leagues are having the World and National Championships. Nice, pretty shot to play off the deuce. Yeah, that was a really good off shot. The eight. He's left with the jump shot, though. This one. It's really, it's really tough, especially if you're trying to make it, because you want to make a good hit. Taking a look at this three ball, he's going to go for the jump, try to get the cue ball all the way around behind the five. It's not going to happen for him. And this young two-time junior world champion. Puts the three ball down and Tyler Steyer comes up to uh, try to solve the rack and put the first one under his belt. So he can either play this safe or cut it. And he played the safe. It was a pretty good one. Pretty good safe, as you said, just a long kick. Probably trying to go, well, he can kick right into the ball or go rail first. But more than likely right into the ball. That's what I like here because going rail first brings the, the nub of the side pocket into play and possible square. Look how nice this has wow. come up. He's gone rail first and then two rail, he tickied off the one ball, that's what you call that in billiards, and then goes two rails right up against the four. Great shot. Pretty shot. Mm. 
And Tyler Steyer now at the table. To get to this point, Tyler actually lost his opening match to Yukio, Yukio Akarigayama, 8-7. He's had some tough matches. Then he defeated right here on this table Blaine Barkas, 8-7, Sebastian Rodriguez, 8-7. But he had an easy time with Robin Heibler, which I would think that would be his biggest competition. So either Tyler found his break and beat Roman Heibler 8-2, to two, or um, uh, he still had a good time with the match. Yeah, 8-7 is, is really good. Wow. Great nice shot. Nice kick shot. No result either. Yeah, that 10 ball's in the way, so as you said, no result, no positive result. He's at the table, but now kicking at the four. Do you kick it up table? You kick it off to the side. I like kicking it up table, yeah. possibly towards the side pocket. I think I would call it in the side and hopefully kick it over by the six, seven and try to hold the cue ball down here. I agree. Kind of like that. Oh, oh it's going to come across. Oh, hit the point. If it bounces off, it won't be too bad because it won't go by that little channel between the rail and the seven. It looked like it would be pretty good if it didn't hit that point. Yeah. But the side pocket is willing to drink up that cue ball. And what's your favorite game? Um, I really like eight ball and nine Discipline. ball. Okay. Uh, I think I like nine ball a little better though. Oh, good for you. I kind of feel the same. <laughs> more exciting, more, yeah. more uh, you like the two way shots and things of that nature. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's definitely really, really fun. Mm -hmm. That's what I first started with, too, was nine ball. Okay. Hit to go real first. It's a long shot. It's to get position on the six. There's really not a lot of pockets. Well, I looks like it just may go no, it doesn't go past the seven. Not from this angle. Can't see that it goes past the seven. So he's going to want to get up close to it. So more than likely he's going to go twice across or follow this three rails right at the six. Mm. Just like that this is the follow. But he overjuiced it a little bit. And the closer he gets, the harder the shot gets. He undercut it. So then would you would you cut in the corner or make the the five nine? I would actually. Uh, he's going to go for the opposite side. Both shots are good. Uh, cutting it into the nine could get you in trouble with because you have to play your cue ball real well. But he's over cut the ball and come out smelling like a rose. Yes. <laughs> and look at this. He's even wow. going to get behind the ten. <laughs> Insult to injury, and he puts it behind the 10 ball. So it's always good to get lucky. Well, <laughs> funny you say that as a nine ball player. <laughs> Most people <laughs> I know say I'd rather be lucky than good for yeah. a nine ball. Yeah. It feels nice when you do get lucky, but also not because you just feel bad for that other player. Now, if it comes down. He's in pretty good shape, except he's left a very easy uh, safety for Moritz. Moritz Neuhausen from Germany. 2023 World Pool Champion, placed 17th. He won the 2022 Euro Championship nine ball for the under 23 group as a 19 year old. He was 17th in the Predator Germany Open. Uh, I don't know if he could hit this or not or thin it. I, I feel like he can. It, it looks like he may be able to go right into the ball. Okay. He's called a nine. He's going to. Uh, I don't know if he can bank it. I don't know if he can see enough of the five on the right side to bank it up there. But he's shooting and he can. And. Wow, awfully close. It was tough to do. He'd have to go and fold into the seven. 
This one's also definitely not an easy shot. Mm -hmm. These are nine balls in the way. And if you were to go for the combo, it's it's really, really tough. Yeah, would you would you consider playing safe by banking the ten ball past the eight all the way down to the uh, the five ball all the way down to the ten? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that that's that sounds like a good shot to do. And that's exactly yeah. what he's done. The lower it gets, the better the safety. Moritz is playing some standard shots. He's a experienced player, especially for a 19 year old. He won his first world title, in the junior world title in Germany, under 17 in 2018. So he's, this is 2023, he's a good five years playing pro. Yeah. And Tyler's missing that to the pro side. And he's left a, he's <laughs> left absolutely <laughs> nothing. They haven't really left each other much. <laughs> and that one you can kind of contribute, you know, to good speed on Tyler's part. Yes. This is a two rail kick at this five ball. And you'll be kicking just before the side pocket. Well, he's going down underneath it. This is harder to hold, especially on slick cloth. He's going to have to bend it into the five. See? He oh, he, so. he did a good job. Uh, actually hit that good enough to make it. He almost did. Yep. Great shot by the young man, the young German. You can see it, it um, shortened on that rail, yeah. the English. Deadly Tyler, uh, Tyler Steyer shot. Straight up and down for Tyler. Now from right here, everything opens up. How would you feel about running this rack out? Walk me through it. Um, it, been, it seemed pretty uh, simple from here. Just shoot the, the six in the corner and then the seven also in the corner. And then the eight where the six went and then the set uh, where the nine, seven, where the seven went. And then depends what position you had on that nine ball to get to the 10. You well, just need to tell yourself that you can do it because it, it's pretty simple. Now, would you slow roll this seven ball rail first to get on the eight? Mm, I would just, no, I wouldn't hit rail first. I would do it, yeah, like just like that. He did get a little short, though. The nine ball's laying right in front of the pocket, so yeah. it should be all right. Yeah. You know, this is a tough shot for Tyler. He is playing with a brand new cue. I'm, I'm teasing folks. I'm teasing <laughs> Sophia a little bit here. Yeah, Tyler just uh, got a new buck for his cue for his 12-4 Revo. And he's playing with the True Splice. Beautiful cue. Took a look at it. It's nice curly maple forearm. And he likes the way that curly maple forearm makes that Revo hit. His last skew had an ebony forearm, and that's quite a different hit. And he's making. Gotten pretty well on this 10. Mm -hmm. She does make this. He goes up 1 0. How do you feel about shooting this shot? Confident? Um, I feel like I would be, yeah. Okay, good. We're going to test you afterwards, you know. You're going to have to shoot all <laughs> these shots on the same table. <laughs> Hopefully I get out. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a long rack, but Tyler Steyer stuck it out and uh, put the X on his side. And our young Sophia Mast. Uh, what did you play while you were here? I played in the women's pro event. Oh, okay. And then the women's platinum division um, singles, eight ball. And then I played the teams and then um, the junior nine ball. And then I have the junior eight ball tomorrow. You sound pretty busy. Yeah. <laughs> and, and now for the fans, what's your Fargo rating? I'm a 577. I thought so when she said platinum. <laughs> oh, my. You know what that means? You have to give me four games on the wire to eight. You think? Sure. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> 
Well, Tyler will break the balls. Going for the one in the side. Let's see if he gets two balls going to that pocket. Hopefully the six does yet. Yeah, both balls, the one and the three, went right at it. The four goes across. And still not, no result. Nothing really offensive on the one. Just wouldn't dress up for him. No. This one is, is probably a, a safe. Um. Where's your safety? I would try probably putting the cue ball up on the, the nine. Just slow roll it yeah. towards the seven with the cue ball straight to the nine? Yeah. Okay. Tyler might do the same thing. He decided to do the seven. A little he more shot. room for error there. Yeah. And you can get a better roll on the ball. This is a kickable shot. Did another kick shot. Again, he'd like to go probably, well, he can go rail first or right into the ball because the two ball does go by the eight. And had he gone rail first and hit pocketed, I think the speed would not have got him position on the two. Yeah. He wouldn't have got up there on top. But. Tatter has a long straight in. I think he shoots this and uh, he should end up with position between the uh, seven nine for the two. Yeah. Unless he really puts a stroke on it. Which helps making the ball a little bit. But I, I like this to meet him stroke here. He'll go by the nine. Yeah, he decided to go yep. above, which, yeah, which is also a good shot. It's just a, just a better, cleaner stroke. Yes. A lot of times when you shoot those little trying to hold it, you accelerate your stroke and end up missing the shot. And the rest of this rack is yours. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that five goes by the six ball. And if it does, I'm pretty sure it should be his rack. Players are on a 30 second time clock. And you heard it buzzing down there, down to two seconds before he uh, pulled the trigger. They have 60 seconds after the break. It's definitely tougher with that that shot clock. Um, just you just don't you just don't want to look at it though. Mm -hmm. um, just, are you a rhythmic player? Um, I I try to be. Um, I did play on the stream table when I played in the women's pro event. Uh huh. And. I feel like I played pretty well. I played way, way. Um, I just made minor mistakes, like I missed the 10 ball twice. That costed me the first the first set. I missed two 10 balls. But I, the first set was four to two. And then um, the last set, I just, I also missed um, a nine ball and an eight ball. It was just those, those last balls, but Towards the beginning, I kept looking at the shot clock, and that kind of affected me. Mm -hmm. And then I was watching Weiwei play, and she wasn't really looking at that shot clock because she's been on the stream many times, and that was the first time I've ever been on one. So at, at the end, I started not looking at it, and, and I felt like I was more focused. So that was a great learning experience for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. Especially playing a... Uh, World class player like Weiwei. Yeah. I'm sure you took away a lot more than just that. Oh, definitely. Well, he's got a little two rail positional shot for the seven, coming right in the line uh, for the seven ball. And then it's a matter of stopping it there for the seven, then the eight, and then the nine. You would have liked to get right to the middle of the table. If you get there, everything is so close and so available. But Tyler's okay with these long shot. Wearing his jam up apparel shirt, he's got his own line of clothing. Line up, yep. Uh, how do you like uh, Allison Fisher's line of clothing from Jam Up? I think uh, I love all of Jam Up's clothes. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you happen to be wearing a jersey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I have, I have a jacket. And I'm not just saying because I'm sponsored by them, but I just love their designs. Mm -hmm. And I like that they're making the, the lines for the pros. And so they like, so the um, people can buy them. And this yeah. one's a USA one. Which is part of his Moscone Cup. Oh. Well, oh he, bumped goodness, it. he bumped it pretty good. He's okay. He, you'll be able to just follow this to the rail. <laughs> Let's see if he pulls out the stops here and maybe goes around, but I don't think he will. I think he'll just take it with just a little bit of inside and kind of end up where he is now. Although that's a lot of ball he has to hit. So Yeah, he did go around. Mm -hmm. I had a feeling if he had too much angle or hit too much ball. Look how nice he wow, great look shot. how nice he hit that with great speed. Great shot for Tyler. We're gonna give him a highlight shot for that one. So Tyler Starr goes up 2-0. And this is a race to eight. This isn't two sets, this is a race to eight. Right, and when what uh, Sophia just described for you on her scores with Weiwei, keep in mind that that was the Las Vegas Women's Open and those were two races to four, so um, she didn't lose eight to two. No, I did not, no, no, no. <laughs> And those are the ones with the shootout that many of you love and many of you don't. The shootout definitely brings a lot of crowds, though. Mm-hmm. So you've noticed that? Yes. How do you feel about it as a player? Um, you, you just have to focus on the game. You can't really worry about the crowd. Um, I definitely wanted to go to a shootout. I think it's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't. I, I won one match in the, the women's pro. Okay. And then um, I went... I lost the first set in my my next one, and then we went Hill Hill in the in the second set. But then I missed the the nine ball to go to a shootout, but oh. and it left her a, a straight in shot. So it is what it is. But mm -hmm. I felt like because I was down two zero on that, and so I felt like I came back and gave one, gave a run for their money. <laughs> one ball straight into the to the side with that break and then the nine ball goes into the opposite side. Now does he wind up with a good shot on the two? It looks like he just might. And he does. Great shot on the two ball opening now. What about the three? We have a combo up on top. We do. Not the easiest, not the toughest. He can kick it and off the back rail if he has to. He's got an angle to come straight up. Shot. Wasting no time in calling his combo. Now the three ball is going to come out of there pretty hot. If it catches the four, it stays. And he'll get his cue ball out of there to end up close to where the 10 is. He's going to have to kind of draw it on the left side of the three. He's going to do it nice and soft. No position. That was a tough shot to get position mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. and and make that combo. I thought he might hit with a little more, a little more pace. Might have turned out a little different, but not much. Now will he try to pass that three ball, pass the the four or five, or will he just thin it and and roll down? Yeah, I was it, thinking of rolling up on the five. five. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Great shot. Now there's some celebrities in the crowd here in support of uh, Moritz Newhausen. See if we can pick him out for you later. Probably one of your favorite players. How do you feel about Joshua Filler and his wife? I think he's a really great player. Mm -hmm. He's he, he's pretty he's pretty nice too. Yeah, they're sitting right well not on. Over to the right there. But <coughs> he's shooting it opposite handed. 
could hit. Oh, does it? Was there a rail? Yeah, I was going to say, is there, was there a rail? We'll find out so we can see it. We have a replay mm -hmm. of it. Yes, yes, there was a rail. Yes. Perry Anderson is our referee for the day, folks. And he is from Youngstown, Ohio. Trying to tuck him in behind the four. It looks like you can see this this three ball. It's definitely not makeable, but you might want to bring that three ball down to the other end and keep the cue ball where the three is now. Or possibly put the cue ball behind the five if you can see that kind of, of yes, angle, which you couldn't. It's not it's not the best sleeve, but it's not it's not horrible either. It did leave Tyler a little over that four. A little over that four and a lot of distance. Yes. But really it's a make the ball. And he's got a shot on the four probably. one you really have to stay down on and stroke it well. Watch him take that long pause and then that nice long stroke on it. Good stroke. Powder does that very well. Now he is jacked over that four. I mean that ten ball. And the good thing is that if he pockets it, he'll have a long shot on the five. Will he try to do more? Nope, he settled for the long shot. Yep. And actually, Tyler excels at these long shots like this. Due to that nice long stroke that he just, you just saw yeah. in the last shot. It's definitely better at, at long shots. We're really good at them. Oh my goodness. Well, that's what he tried to stroke it too much. Did, did he? Go over too much, get, get better position. I was going to say I commentator jinxed him. <laughs> It didn't leave um, the shot, though. Yeah. The kick he, shot, I think. If he can see the five ball, he can cut it. No, but you're right. Um, the kick shot, he couldn't see the five. Doesn't, doesn't line up. Safe him back. Yeah, it looks like he got that safe. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he'll uh, try to go right. He's going to. Crossbank kick it. it. He's going to kick it. Is he kicking? Yeah. Okay. I thought he could see that ball. Yeah, he'd have a kiss if you if could see it. Nice speed. Yeah. And it should stay against the rail and not give up much of Well, he gave up a cut. It's awfully thin, but I think it goes. He could cut this or he could um, bank it back. Tyler still feeling out his opponent. Nope. He says, I'm not, I'm not having any part of that. Nice speed. Oh, it looks like he may be able to see the right side. If so, he might have a bank. It's not quite, doesn't quite have the angle. I feel like he can see the whole ball, but I can't tell. If he had the angle, he could bank it to the side. He opted to bank it. Oh, 
Oh, wow, he could see the whole thing. He was, he was fine. He did have yeah. a... You have to be careful with that bank shot. It looked like it, to the pocket, it would have probably double kissed. Watch it closely. Watch how close this is. And he opened it up a little bit more. He would have, or hit it a little higher, even double kissed it. And this one's also a tough shot because if you try to cut this on the side, you want to watch out for that scratch. Yeah, it looks like he's going for it in the corner. Uh, I think he got it off just in time. Yeah. He left Tyler a shot, though. An easy bridge, but a shot nonetheless. Well, unfortunately, last year's reigning champion is out of this tournament. He was defeated by his countrymen. Ojek Shevchek was defeated by Viktor Zelinsky earlier. And Zelinsky is now out. He wow. just lost. Um, I watched the match. He just lost in the last round. Didn't make it to this one. Didn't he win the, the 10 ball? He won the, the Las Vegas. Two years in a row. Two years in a row. And... Um, so I guess he excels at the short races, and him and uh, Shevchek had a great match. But uh, Zelinski defeated Shevchek, and then uh, let me see who it was that beat him. Pijus Labutas defeated him. And Tyler. Tyler got this game 3-0. 3-0, and we'll go to a one-minute break. Be right back, folks. Back to live action with Tyler Steyer breaking off the fourth game, leading 3 0 in a race to eight over Moritz Newhausen. Moritz Newhausen. In Germany, strong junior player. He squatted that cue ball. I like the way you said that. He just squatted it right there, didn't he? <laughs> yes. <laughs> didn't get kissed? Uh, don't think he made a ball. There goes a six. Yeah, six ball. There goes a six ball. And then there's a one seven combo. It's, it's it's really makeable. So this rack dressed up for him. He's got a tough eight ball. But the rest looks pretty easy, pretty open, excuse me. Yeah. At this stage, you're in the world stage. Nothing's easy. No, not at all. But Tyler's been in some world stages. He's a, I think he's a three-time Moscone Cup player, yes. Four-time, 2022, 2021, and then they won in 2018 and 2019. Team USA. Team <laughs> USA, won it with Tyler on there. The only two wins they've had in some time. Yeah, it's been a while. Looks like he got good position to get on this three ball. No, oh, he's he, he's golden here. It's just the eight ball he's gonna have to yeah. really get on get on with. Yeah. Tyler 
Tyler also went over to Europe and had some success with the Predator Austria Open in 2021. In 2019, he won the Kremlin Cup. On this eight ball, you could probably either cut it in the corner or maybe play the uh, safe. And if you get straight in the eight ball and then hit it straight and put the cue ball behind that 10 or maybe hit the eight off the 10. There's definitely a couple ways. I like the eight off the 10. And that's, but it looks like he's going to move the 10 with the four to open up easy position for yeah. the eight. Just doesn't want to put that that ten ball in front of the five. Hit it, hit it um, harder. To also get position too. I I, I I totally agree with you, young lady. He's going to play this four ball off the ten and probably follow the cue ball to short side position on the five. Or he can also draw the ball a little bit to the left side of the five. He can choose what he wants to do. He's master of his destiny here. Oh. He got there enough. He's tall and he can reach right over for this ball. He's going to get his extension. He doesn't mess around. Look at the size of that extension. <laughs> he already has a three inch extension. It might be a 12, uh, 12 inch. Mm -hmm. He had a, oh, he oh overcut no. that ball. Was it the stretch or was it the time he took on the shot? Um, probably it might have been the stretch. It's always it's always tough when you're like half more than half mm -hmm. length of your cue. But it, it does give him a leave and great great uh, opportunity to get out and have a game on that board. How would you play this eight ball? Would you follow it down or just come straight across? Try to come straight across with it. Um, probably, um, I don't know, the angle's so, it's so weird, and it, probably straight uh, up, I mean sideways, sorry. Mm -hmm. Just like that, just like you called it. has it about to put his first game on the scoreboard trailing one to three in the race to eight some of the matches around the room in this losers qualification we have Nikki Kraus leading Ruben Batista from Mexico four to one Aloysius Yap and Lee Hantor tied at two. Max Lechner trails Dalal Albushi two to three. Eklan Kachi and Ferry Satriadi are tied at two. Skyler Woodward leads Conrad Yushushin three to two. And Sanjin Belovanovic over Jan Van Lierup three to one. The young the young man from Spain is pretty hot. Jonas Suto is tied with Mark Easterbosch. And Francisco Sanchez leads Jesus Atencio 4-1. to one. Back to the match with Moritz breaking. Take a look at his break. It's the first time we've seen it, I believe. Didn't and make anything, but... It's definitely a tough, tough shot on this this one ball. Yeah, breaking from the center, he's playing. He's playing the two balls behind the one to the side pockets. One went short. One went long. Left an opening shot on the one. Uh, eight ball is going to hinder his position. He's going to have to figure out what he's going to do after he hits the eight ball when he cuts the one. I think he's going to go ahead and run into it and <coughs> take his chances coming down. Oh, he might hit the top side and go towards the seven. It's going to be tough. Yeah. He's not even going to play. He's going to play He's safe. Play safe. This, this is kickable or even jumpable to make this. He 
he's deciding to kick it. Or, or I guess he could see that, that one ball. Good well, shot. Good shot, Mary Lee, this call. He's left him in a tough place. He's going to have to go after him two rails here, I think. Head rail and then over to the side. You like to catch the rail behind the ball and keep the cue ball there. just like that, just like that, and have this come down. That was his best chance of a return safety. He misses a two ball, he gets it. Yeah. In the stands on the right side of the table here, we have. Uh, I think we still have Josh Filler, Josh and Pia Filler yep. sitting down watching um, the young German play. Definitely up, up, up and comer. Mm -hmm. And maybe even a Joshua Filler. I think we could do with one, not two, <laughs> coming from Germany. One's enough. <laughs> yes. He's quite the prodigy. And become quite the monster. <laughs> Cutting it and avoiding the six ball to get on the three. Wants to go above the side pocket with the cue ball. And then back out again. Oh. He hit that six ball. Uh, I, I don't know if he can get in between those um, two balls, the five and that, and that six ball to hit that three. Oh. It's, it's very close. It is very close. Where's the referee? Oh, look Good at shot. this. What wow. a nice shot. He's checking out, see if he, he smiled, yeah. and that tells me he did not get him. Yeah. Just a little harder, he would have probably got him. What a nice safety. Stop the cue ball perfect. And it looks like you can get to the rail to kick it. Oh, if he's standing on that side, he can't get to the rail. He's going to have to go uh, three rails behind there. This is like kicking to try to make the side pocket just a little higher. Oh, he can see this side. Never mind. Good, well. good um, shot. Tried to get that returning safety. Almost had it. If he chooses, he could choose to bank this in the corner pocket where he's at, but there's no real, no real bonus or reward for it. No. So he probably plays safe right to the, behind the, the tender, right to the middle of the bottom rail. And look at his cue ball. His speed again has been very, very precise and finding cover yeah. almost every shot. This is a tight hit if he tries to go uh, to the rail and buy the 5-6. Did you see how he it's bent solid. the ball a yeah. little bit? It was a good solid hit, but, and it didn't really leave from a shot. I don't this could be a safety. Right up against those balls. He couldn't quite get him up against it. Yeah. Him. But he's done a good job enough that, well, let's see if the jump cue comes out. I don't think so. I think he kicks. Kicking right at the ball, because the side pocket is where you'd have to go if he hit rail. Oh, he went above it. 
We went two rails. Mm -hmm. Again, no, no leave. It's been the story of this match when you're kicking. <laughs> well, you know they've they they both uh, have missed. Good. That's this well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to the good side. He's calling. He, he's got a bank shot here, and he can kind of hold it there in the position on that side. But this is better than the banking. Yeah. Nice shot. Yeah. Put that one in your bag of tricks and remember it. <laughs> definitely it's a great shot. shot. I would, I, yeah, I would definitely keep that shot. It was, it was really smart. So if you fire at that bank, um, it's not 100% that you're going to make it. Not only that, it's, not 100, it's, it's less than 60% that you're going to get shape on the four. Yeah. Very pretty, <laughs> yes. very delicate, safe, kicking to the exact spot on the ball that he wanted to hit and got there. Going off the bottom of the three here, down to the Bottom part of the table. Mm, I think he was oh. trying to get behind the 9 4. Yeah. Went a little high. Didn't get it. Well, this is also a very long shot. He did miss the last long shot, the five ball. But. Well, he's got a do over. Let's see what yeah. happens. It's definitely makeable. It's just a stop shot for the forward. If he does that, he's going to be in good shape for the rest of the rack. Oh, my goodness. He missed that one, too. Well, he... Overcut that. He's going to have to come with some of those shots. Because if he leaves this young man shots like this and Moritz can spend some time at the table he'll make the proper adjustments and be a lot more dangerous than he's been so far it's definitely better to get in stroke and have that control over that table and very with, good. with a good run out too mm -hmm. very pretty shot yeah that was really good did that look like you played Hopefully. <laughs> no, I, I, that was a, yeah. The young lady's humble. Nice, so he can come back just past the side pocket where he's aiming. It's, he doesn't want to go past that line he just aimed. Like he got that good position. Would you try to shoot that nine in the in the bottom? Um, yes, corner? but he has a choice. It, it depends on how he gets on the eight. Yeah. If he has a steep angle on the eight, which he does, he does so he'll want to come up towards the ten or avoid the ten and get right yeah. there for the nine. Nice soft shot. This is going to close, close the lead within one game. So it's anybody's, anybody's match in this race to eight. And remember, the winner moves on to the final 32. There's 16 players awaiting the 16 players that are playing right now. The 16 winners that will be winning right now. And those 16 will be seated, and these 16 will be uh, thrown into the into the mix. And he does pocket the ball. 3-2. Let's go. It's down. So tell me, young lady, who is your favorite pro player? Um, 
Right now, I would say Shamp and Boning, and then also Allison Fisher. Allison Fisher? Yeah. She's a classic. Yeah. What a classic. You picked one of the greatest, greatest of all time. Yes, it's <clears throat> and speaking of all time, we're going to have a little time out. We'll be right back with you, folks. Stay tuned. And we are back to the live action, but we don't have any players, not even the referee is in the arena. So, um, what were we just talking about, young lady? I understand you have a very interesting, this is Sophia Mast in the booth with me. This is George Dayachev and you're live action here at this Predator World 10 Ball Championship. I understand you have a very interesting nickname. Yeah. Tell me something about that. Um, my nickname's the Pink Dagger. I've, I've had so many, like, so many people ask me how I've got that nickname. Uh -huh. um, I really can't remember. It's not like I have a good memory, but I always loved the color pink. And so I, w I wanted that included in the name. And then we were just thinking of fierce names and like, uh -huh. and we just, we had, we had a few in mind, but Dagger just really, Dagger just really, um, it's fierce. Yeah, yeah, just really came out, and we're like, yeah, that's the name, and Pink Dagger went together, and I really like it. Okay, and that's now we're back to live action. But is that why the, 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 the your hair on the ends that yes. are, paint, are dyed pink? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. I wish you guys could see the jacket she's wearing from the Jam Up <laughs> Apparel. It says Pink Dagger on the sleeve and has a long pink cue stick. And uh, it's, it, it, it's awfully cute, folks. I, I'm <laughs> telling you, it's, it's cute. I love my jam up jackets. Mm -hmm. Didn't make anything on this, this break. Uh, I don't think he made anything last time either. Well, it looks like he's gonna, gonna go to a push. So Moritz is breaking dry on the two breaks that he's had. Tyler's Tyler's made balls, but he just hasn't got that position yeah. except for one rack. I think it was the opening or the second rack. It's definitely a good push out. Always leaving them on the rail is tough. Decided to give it back. This Let's one is tough. Got. Well, if he goes for the combo off the into the eight, that cue ball slides into the six ball, and there is a dark corner looming. He missed the six, he avoided the six. 
And actually, it's turned out to be a pretty good shot. Yeah. Moritz can see the see the ball, the one ball, but nothing really offensive through that window of the two five or five six. I was hoping we'd get a shot of the filler sitting up in the stands here on the on the right. Definitely a good shot. Um, left him behind this the six ball. Now he has to kick at it. This one can go in the top uh, top corner or the bottom corner and or the side. Do you think he has a chance in the side? It does. Straight at it, probably. Did he call it? He hasn't called it yet, but he might as well call it because if it goes in, it, he probably, if he doesn't have a shot, he'll be put back anyway. If he happens to get shape, he gets to continue shooting. Right. Oh, no. And I'm sure he didn't call that. No, not at all. Ball in hand for the young German. And USA goes back in his chair. Just clipped that one barely. You can see he's not happy with that. Right. Would you shoot that two in the side? If it goes by the seven, definitely. And apparently it does because yeah. he played position for it. Otherwise, he could just play position for the corner pocket by the deuce. Yeah. And he'd be in good shape. And if it, this goes, he will go two rails and put the cue ball right about where it is now. Four balls hovering over the pocket, so pretty much Decent. wherever he wants to get. Decent yeah. out. And uh, probably play the five ball to the side pocket where he's at now. The position on the six, and really, it should be no trouble completing the run and tying the match up at three. Perfect. It's exactly where he where he pointed his cue. Now he's he's letting you know where he wants to go, folks. And in my opinion, the player does that so he can visualize the exact spot he wants to be, and not just I want to be over here. This is a little bit more visualization. More and precise. And more precise. And the more precise you measure, usually the more precise you end up. Will he come all the way around for the seven in the side? That's what he, he pointed at. Looks like he got pretty good. He's got to avoid the nine. Yeah. Shoot it in the corner. Does want angle on this one, does not want to get straight. Because he doesn't want a big angle on that nine ball. He got the angle. This one you can either go forward or to the, to the side rail. Straight across, perfect. And stunned it over. Now you just roll this in and come on down towards the 10. Anywhere below the, the, the spot will be good. And he's there. It's there and 99.999% of the time he'll make this ball. Yeah, <laughs> big mistake from Tyler, but couldn't really do nothing. Not Scott. much to do there. Well, let's go over some of the names, and then we'll get back to a couple of questions for Sophia Mast. Some of the guys that are waiting on the on the winner's side, 
uh, in the final 32. There's 16 of them, but I'll name off a few. Lee Van Corteza, Shane Van Boning, Dennis Grabe, Thorsten Homan, Coping Chung, uh, Coral Simon, Naoki Oi, Mateos Snigaki, Alex Pagalai, and the Lions Roaring folks, Joshua Filler, Mark Ortuzer, Wu Kun Lin, the previous winner of the uh, Las Vegas Open, Feder Gorst, Vitali Patsuda, Oliver Shrokenoki, and Shang Chang Jong Lin. He's always in the finals of these big tournaments yeah. or close to him. Meanwhile, Moritz has broken the balls. Made the one in the side. Has yeah. nothing on the two. I think he can hit it though. Just barely thin that two ball. Young eyes will get you every time, folks. Thank you. <laughs> he could thin it and put the cue ball at the other end. You just don't want to hit it as thick. Using the 910 blockers, maybe. His speed has been good on these shots. Very good. Oh, he went pinpoint towards yeah. the six, but he's not going to. He got cover yeah. off the seven. Favorable bump. If he hits the six ball full, it stays there and leaves the two ball straight up the rail. But instead, yeah. it slides off the seven. The six and uh, finds cover behind the seven. Three rail kick here. Yeah. You like these kinds of shots? Yeah, I like I like I like um, multiple rail kicks better mm -hmm. than one rail kicks. The ball's bigger. Yeah. Yep. It stays in line when you go off that other rail. And he's three rail kicking this, probably called the side pocket. The one he just went by. Great hit. And will he Needs hit a, a rail? rail? It doesn't he matter. He does, but left him yep. a straight in shot. He is, I'm pretty sure, over that four ball. But the three stole it by that pocket, so it shouldn't really matter. Do it back just a little bit. Could be she, uh, looks like he's pointing for that four ball in the right corner, or I mean right side pocket. Yeah, he'll probably put some left spin on this and go underneath the five to the side rail and right towards the four. Another mistake from Tyler. That he has been kicking at these balls and getting no result. Yeah, he's just it hasn't ended up well for it, so he's not hitting the correct side or the side, probably the side he wants to hit. But he's had some toughies. Looking good here. Again, it's going to come right out of there. That using wrapping out of that corner, right in line with the seven from the rail. It's come right towards the seven, making sure he doesn't get behind the nine or the ten. I right, shoot this seven oh. in that in that side pocket, then the eight in the other side. You, you would follow down for the eight in the side? Yeah. Okay. If he has that other angle. Mm. He drew that back just a little bit, but had he just stopped it a three inches shorter, he'd be straight into the corner. Small draw for the nine. Uh, both were good. They were both real good. The problem with the side pockets is if you don't get the correct angle, you might get stuck trying to run the cue ball down table and around. This, he didn't leave himself too easy, but he made the ball. He's going to come up very nice on very this nine nice ball. Shot. I mean, look at this ball in hand position. And Tyler 
has allowed his opponent to win four games in a row. Some he earned, a couple games Moritz earned, a couple Tyler let get away. Weird position on your hand and body. It doesn't matter. And he's halfway to eight. Tyler now trails for the first time by a game. We'll see if that body language in the chair changes and becomes more attentive. We're getting down to the business end of this World Ten Ball Championship. First prize is sixty thousand. Second prize is forty thousand dollars, and third fourth is twenty thousand dollars. Those are some cool shirts. This is the biggest payday in the U.S. And I believe it's the only sanctioned. Well, now we have one of the sanctioned. We had the World Nine Ball Women's in Atlantic City just recently. So now we have two world sanctioned events. And he's going to be okay. It's straight in on the one. Got position on it. It was a good break. He almost did scratch, but got that that leave. He's probably going to follow it right. So, well, they're both. Oh, is did he, he get corner it? hooked? I'm not sure. It's so deceiving. <laughs> looks like he is because he looks. He's looking to follow this ball. All right, he's good. And he kind of went a little too far, but he can go to either corner, so. Which corner would you like to shoot this in? Would you prefer to shoot this in? I would probably shoot it in the top right corner. Or the, yeah, the top right corner. At the top of your screen? Yeah. That's where he's going with it. Oh, he went to the other side. No, I was going for you were, there, yeah. That's where you were yeah. going? Okay. Yeah. He's got nice position. Tyler could be in trouble here if this young man gets going. He's going to have to find a way to get to the table and be productive. That was the heart of the pocket. Mm. You think that six passes at seven? Yes. This looks like just two stop, uh, two stop shots. The four and the five are just stop shots. Nothing tough. <laughs> he just pointed to exactly where he wants to be. That way it's a stop shot for him. He's not on the rail and he can come off the seven and cue it properly. And that's exactly where he got. Yep. Uh, get on the eight a little easy. Tyler could find himself in a two game Damn. deficit. With the young man from Germany Being feeling more confident every stroke. Just yep. a small follow here, and he's on the he's on the eight for the opposite corner. They get a little straight. If he has that that the end rail, he could shoot an opposite corner. He's perfect. Yep. Yep. He's gonna be perfect. This is what you call unmissable shape. If you're missing this, you can't expect to win very many matches. Mm -hmm. And we are at 5-3, a dangerous part of the race. Young man has rattled off five games in a row. Tyler started out with three and uh, now finds himself down by two. 
happened pretty quick. Yeah, it really did. Just he's really in stroke now, and once you once you get to that table, you really have control and stay at that table. And as uh, Perry racks these balls, we are sponsored by Fargo Ray, Medalla Light, Rums of Puerto Rico, Cyberts, Jam of Apparel, Kamui. Predator, by the way, has a new chalk coming out, folks, for those of you that don't know it. They have two different chalks. They have a cube form, which is called Crest, and some of the players already have this new Predator Pure chalk. Look for it in the next couple of months. It should be available, yeah. especially the Crest. Made a ball, I think. Yep, There's made the two. Oh, <laughs> Tyler didn't see it. But no no result like last time. It looks like he's trying to get behind that eight, four, and seven, the cue ball, mm -hmm. and put that one at the um, in, uh, in rail, or the top rail. Well, if he's going down, to, I'd, I'd be banking the one towards all those balls and taking the cue ball behind uh, the three, five because the opening, the window he has between the four and the six led straight to the corner pocket. That's the only reason I would kind of go the opposite way. Trying to create the distance and get behind the balls, get you closer to the, to the corner. And that's probably where Taylor's going to be going with this cue ball. Tyler, excuse me, I said Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> right behind... Wow. wow, great speed, Tyler. This one could be a two railer or a one railer. Yeah, one. He could, he could, he could pass that five. Oh, oh what no. a great hit! I think Did he hit, hit the, the five, five first. first. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as a, as I saw it hit the one, I said, what a great hit. And I said, why uh. is the five moving? <laughs> it happened too quick for me. And now we know why I'm not a referee. Yeah, barely thin that five. An opportunity for Tyler to get another game on that board. He hasn't been to the table much, but... It's always opportunities. Not only an opportunity to get get on the board here, but to control. Steal the control away from Moritz and uh, put a couple of games on. Make that mistake cost him a couple of games, not just one. Yeah. Good angle to get down to that five. Um, I don't know if that six passes the ten ball. Uh, it looks like it does, which is, is good. Just draw this into sideways, but it have that angle on that five to get to that six in the corner. Decided to go two rails. It looks like he's on the wrong side, but he could just draw this to the to the side rail or go to the bottom rail. He's got and room. He's deciding to draw it. That's where he wants to be. That's one of the first extensions that have been called in the whole game. There I, hasn't don't, been I don't recall one. I, I know there has been some, but mm -hmm. it's not a lot. These guys are playing pretty rhythmic and pretty 
pretty quick. Well, there we go. There's a German German champion. One of the monsters of pool, Josh Filter, his wife Pia. They're watching their, their fellow German. It's always good to root for your your country. This one he he might need to go back and forth if he has a lot of angle. I think he and shoot it in the same pocket, probably. He just started his draw it sideways. Now he's got a little bit of a tester here. And he's got to avoid the side pockets. Just a hint of left. Oh no. Yeah. He just yeah. overcut that. He left it long. It's always a problem. Looks like he hasn't left much, so that eight ball's gonna, did it come up high enough? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Forcing a bank or a safety behind the 10. This is a fairly easy bank. As banks go, uh, a lot of players be going here. Let's see what Moritz does with it. He went for it. I don't blame him. That's, no. to me, that was a shot. I just, he missed by quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> that's a little tough. Yeah, as bank shots go, that's that's a playable one. I feel like the English threw it, threw it sideways. You can kind of stick you on move a little bit. Yeah. Big break for Tyler. Gotta take advantage of these breaks. Oh, oh no. Nibble, nibble, and look what happens. Wow. This is such a hard shot because it's on the rail. Okay, I see, I, I don't think I would shoot this ball. I would two rail this to the middle, to the head rail, and bring the cue ball straight the back down towards the 10. Because even if he makes this ball, to get position is awfully tough. Yeah, I think I would do that too. Just try that cross, cross bank. But hit post side. Great shot. What are you What are you thinking on this? Uh, actually, it's lined up. Uh, the thing is, if you go for the bank in the corner pocket, it's tough to get position. The best he's going to be able to do is get the cue ball close to halfway down the table. He's still going to have a steep cut. See, mm. see the, so that so that that you have to decide exactly what you want to do. Fortunately for Tyler, it's worked out for him. He might even consider banking this nine ball into the side pocket because mm, I feel like you can hit. You can hit enough to follow down. Yeah, probably top left and follow it. He did that very, very well. Nice call. And he needs this. He's down by two. Now it's just a matter of keeping the cue ball in the center of the table and pocketing this 10. Oh. He used every bit of that pocket. Wow. <laughs> One of your favorite players almost hung up a 10 ball. <laughs> <laughs> it was very close, very, very well, close. Well, that's five games in a row that uh, Moritz could rattle, rattled off. And Tyler closes the gap by one. Tyler, a Predator-sponsored player. Moritz, a Qtech-sponsored player.
So there's a little bit more competition going on that we know about. As far as sponsorships, the cues. I'm pretty sure that neither player cares what the other guy's using. No. <laughs> <laughs> Big break by Tyler. He's got to get he's got to get the break going. Kind of similar to what he did to Roman Heibler. In his previous match. Oh. That one ball. It was almost like an in yeah. and out, wasn't it? There it goes. And it's dry. Uh, I think it left him the shot in that one. Dead. It's pretty straight. It looks like you can get to the bottom rail and come up for the deuce. And he's off and running because everything else is laying over yeah. a pocket. That was, that was a, a good speech shot. It's definitely his opportunity to get another, another game. Put it back to a, a two deficit. And breaking mm -hmm. to get on the hill. But he's yet to make a ball in the break, right? No, he's made a ball. I should Did he make one? Okay. Yeah, because he broke and ran. Um, he got position on that one. I think he like broke dry two times mm -hmm. and made a ball probably two times. Something like that. Does he look like he's stepping a little faster, a little more confident? Yeah, definitely. From the from the beginning of that match, mm -hmm. seems more in stroke and more confident, and shoot, pocketing his balls like no one's watching. Nineteen year old from Germany. Might need to go two rails on this one or you, or draw it. Yeah, he tries to draw it. Oh great shot. Moritz a seven sixty six Fargo. His opponent Tyler Steyer a seven sixty five. There's only a point difference in their wow. Fargo rates. This is the qualification round from the one loss side to get to the stage two, final 32, where all races tomorrow will be till 10. Does it ever go to single elimination? Is it is like single elimination, 16? yeah. We're in oh, 13, yeah. 32. Stop, top 32. Okay. Yeah. This is it, right? Actually, these guys are in single elimination now because they've already lost yeah. one to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> so it's good night if you lose here. And the door seems to be closing for Tyler. He's going to have to put his foot in the door and yank it back open. Uh, meanwhile, speaking of yanking open, we're not going to do it. We're going to take a break. Be right back. to the live action with Moritz Neuhausen from Germany leading six games to four over Tyler Steyer.
big break from the young German, but it looks dry. In that so position on that one, left Tyler a shot. Might be shooting this two in that uh, bottom corner. Pretty much stopping it there. Yeah, and then or he's going forward. He wants to do more. He wants to be closer. Which is not bad. Just draw it sideways for that three ball in the same corner. And um, it looks like that five goes past that nine. He's got the perfect angle to stun over for the three. And then the four. And the five, as you just called, does go by that nine ball. Well, he's got to do here. He's got to right the ship, and these are the balls to do it with. Decided to take a longer angle on that in the four, and so you can get better position on the five. He might come right close to that seven and maybe even get straight in and almost straight in on the five. Good speed. Did want a little angle on that, but he should be all right. I wonder if he's going to follow and risk uh, bumping the nine. Bumping the nine. Or if he just brings it, he's going to bring it back just a hair. Oh, yeah, and he's, he's got it off the rail so he can avoid the eight altogether. You just draw that out two rails? Yeah, just a, just a hint. Probably even center English will do it. Yeah. But drawing out two rails is guaranteed to come out for the seven. does look like he's, he, he's going forward. Oh, he, could, he could get past that. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Didn't see that coming. No, he uh, he did quite a bit with that ball. Instead of just the left hand English, and just come straight up. He 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 let yeah. he arced it a little bit, so yeah. it got away from him. And wow, he went more forward, which he didn't go just straight out. Like you were saying. That look is that could have been a match loser. Yeah. Because Newhausen would be breaking. Yes. Yeah, he did do a break and run once. Well, it's now a three-game deficit, and uh, he's on the hill. Yeah. Does have angle. He could be shooting it in the same pocket as the nine is going. Yeah, this looks pretty good for the young man. Tyler Steyer, 28. His opponent, 19. Ooh. Ooh. Really that gave you a little bit of a thrill, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seems really confident. And this to get on the hill. And a race to eight and breaking the balls. Moritz Neuhausen, the young German two-time junior world champion. Under 17 and under 19. Under 17 in 2018 and under 19 in 2020. <laughs> and then he's also the 2022 Euro champion nine ball under 23. So. The young man is, as you mentioned, in fact, could be another Josh Hiller coming yeah. out of Germany. For sure, another Thorsten Homan. Yeah. Another German player that I recall. Well, we have still have Ralph Suquet playing. Yeah. And then, have you ever heard of a player by the name of Oliver Ortman? No, I haven't. I think he's from, I think he's German. Wow. That was Hope a really good break, but that two balls locked up to that four. Let's see what he can do here. How do you like playing safe right behind the four? 
stunning the ball right there. Oh, he on the two. But get a better angle for it and just stopping the ball through, railing it out. He wants Should to break it out. It? Look at this. Uh, Why play safe when you can do that? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure he can make this two ball. Really good draw shot. What an accent to put on this match if he can break and run out. Yeah. Opening between the rail and the five. Found it. it. Looks like he can shoot this up in the top corner. that a little harder but he still seems fine little back cut with this ball under pressure I see this ball missed yeah they leave it out or they just go way to they overcut it it's He's definitely you're shooting to a blind pocket so it's definitely much tougher but not not for new son it wasn't blind for him. He hit it perfect and nice position on the six. Will he come over here underneath the nine? That's where he's measuring. With a ten ball to close this match out. Tyler is hoping for some kind of a reprieve. A scratch. <laughs> Anything yeah. to get back to the table. I think at this point, though, it's, it's well. He did get a 50-50 line. But yeah. I feel like he could. Be fine. He should be. You just don't want to lay back when you're this close. Pretty steep cut. Perfect. Got another 50 yarder. <laughs> He's teasing you, huh? <laughs> he just wants to make it tougher. <laughs> It's not bad then. And I don't think he's going to even consider this no. a miss. It's a unmissable 10 ball. This is for the match. And to move on to the final 32, Moritz Neuhausen, one of his biggest tournaments here in this world 10 ball championship in Las Vegas. This is George Teche and Sophia Mast bringing you the live action. Thank you very much, young lady, for sitting in. Thank you. Thank and you for having me. We will see you tomorrow in the final 32, all races to 10. Good night, folks. Good night.